Yeah, yeah, I know what you're all thinking. Hey, Colby, I thought you weren't going to make album reviews anymore. Well, that video was kind of stupid of me to make. Um, it was just kind of a way to vent my anger or something. I was having a pretty bad day, and I guess my mind wasn't really in the right spot. So, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I felt at the moment. And um, since I'm an INFJ, my mind ha is like a raging whirlpool of like different intricacies and complications. So... I could just post like the darndest things like whenever my mind is like in a really terrible position and uh, I don't often do that but it just happened and um, we can um, move past that. Although I'll never forget uh, your guys' words of encouragement. It was really unexpected actually and uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much whoever uh, commented on my video and um, just uh, offer their support. Yeah, thank you so much. It really means the world to me. I'm just gonna spare you all the emo bullshit and uh, just continue doing what I love. And now let's get started with my review of what I consider to be a true embracer and exorcist of the feelings I've had yesterday. Let's go. Viva emptiness. And don't mind uh, the person next door playing Piano Man. Uh, <laughs> this is the only place I could do it, so um, anyway. So Viva Emptiness is album number six for Catatonia and um, quite arguably their best. It's sort of a draw between discouraged ones and this one, but I think this album here uh, passes it by a very slight lead when it comes to favorite Catatonia albums and possibly favorite album of all time, period. I believe this is the album where Catatonia's songwriting skills was, was at its strongest and um, the flow itself is uh, just perfect. You can't really imagine one song without a certain song being played right after it. Like, you, I can't really imagine another song being played after Ghost of the Sun other than Sleeper. I can't imagine another song being played after Will I Arrive other than Burn the Remembrance. Just the way they've uh, assembled the track listing, the way they've constructed the songs themselves is um, absolutely fantastic. Many of these songs are among my absolute favorites from the band. There are many many, many standouts on this album, like the opening track, Ghost of the Sun, the Burn the Remembrance, Omerta, Evidence, I, I can pretty much go on, I I've only named a few, I can just name the entire album for you, yeah, the whole album is a standout. I do believe this is Catatonia's, at least at the time in 2003, like their heaviest release since albums like Brave Murder Day and Dance of December Souls. But it's also a very well organized and very well balanced album. It's got softer moments like Omerta and A Premonition, but it also has really heavy, harder hitting moments like Ghost of the Sun and Will I Arrive. And um, yeah, I just love how they organized this album. I loved how they meticulously crafted each song just so they stand out from each of the others. And uh, there's like so much packed into each and every song like at first when I first listened to this album I didn't really get much out of it but like with repeated lessons I've noticed more and more little intricacies and little subtle elements that made each song stand out even more than uh, when I first heard them and like I said before yeah it's a very dynamic listen it's very well balanced it's got a lot to offer. If you want a softer moment like Omerta, <laughs> followed by a really crushing, heavy, heavy song like Into the City of Glass, or Inside the City of Glass, my bad, then this album's got it for you. You could say that this is the Blackwater Park for Catatonia. Uh, like a few people have said about Blackwater Park, how that is a very well-balanced album. This is basically um, Catatonia's take on that, only without death metal growls, of course. Although, I've had, I have heard some death growls in the background, but 
I digress. Uh, you know what I mean. I think this may be one of the few albums I've heard of in which I think the um, use of cuss words is appropriate to the mood, the sound, and the meaning of the music itself. Like, I feel like the F word does belong in songs like Criminals and all that. It's not like Limp Biscuit just wrote fuck like 66 times in one song like it was just some 14 year old who first discovered how to use cuss words. If it's like that then I really don't like that at all. I think it really takes away from the enjoyability factor and it's just you being all machismo and <laughs> that I don't fucking like at all. Um, I mean I cuss a lot in real life, I mean I just cussed right now so uh, yeah. But when it comes to music itself, uh, I think it takes away from the enjoyability if you don't have a certain specific meaning for using the cuss word in the first place. I think it really takes away from the intelligence, sophistication, and the classy level of the music that I'm listening to if you just use it for no reason except to show off your machismo and um, just want to be all badass and stuff. But the way Catatonia does it here, I think it's more than fine. It's very acceptable. But overall, not to continue sounding like a fanboy or anything, which, well, I am for this band, but yeah, this album is a masterpiece. I believe it to be Catatonia's magnum opus next to Discouraged Ones. It is a melancholic thrill ride. It always puts me in a good mood every time I listen to it. Um, I believe it to be about as close to a 10 as you can get. It is a, I think it's about a 9.9999999995 or something like that. It's, it's pretty damn close. If I had just one little nitpick about this album, it would be... They don't have as much of Ender Nistrom's, like, uh, moody, like, weeping guitar melodies that you'd hear on albums like Discouraged Ones, Tonight's Decision, and Last Fair Deal Gone Down. Like, songs like Dead House and Cold Ways, Sweeteners, you'd hear that a lot. Um, you know what I mean if you hear it. It's uh, very high-pitched, it's very melodic, and... Uh, it's a very weepy sound. I mean, I have heard it on this album, like in Burn the Remembrance, there's a wee 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 and there's that, but there's not as much of it on this album as there are on uh, many of the other Catatonia albums. So that would be my one and only complaint, but yeah, that does not take away from the fact that this is truly a magnum opus. So sorry about all the noise earlier, I guess some girl was like singing piano and uh, just being all noisy and shit. There's never really any place around here to, that's completely quiet, so uh, you'll have to excuse me for that and I just have to work with what I have. But anyway, thank you very much for watching my review and I'll talk to you guys later.